Yo, what's going on guys in this video? We're going to be doing Claim from Hack My VM. This is a box where it's rated by medium. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to start opening another terminal here. I'm going to start running a NetDiscover MySR 10.0.0.1 slash 4 slash IT0. I'm doing this video, could that be the box 10.0.0.10? So I'm going to start running a map scan. So I'll do a map, my set safe for default scripts, my set safe for enumeration, and scan all ports in the IP. Doing this, I don't want to wait for the map scan, so I'll do like a netcat mice and v on port 80. It does seem like port 80 is open for HTTP, right? I have an IP address, so you get the Apache 2 default page, so I'm going to control you to the source code. And it doesn't seem like we do have anything, right? So I'm starting by doing some numeration and running a go buster on here. So to go, go buster to remove minus u, we'll go into the IP address, minus w for user shared word list, we'll do the buster directory list to window medium.txe. We'll do extensions as HTML, TXE, and also PHP. Here we do get an index.html and also a slash WordPress. So I'm sort of visiting slash WordPress on here. And uh, this seems like we do get a WordPress site, right? Another way to confirm that this is running WordPress is if we do have the powered by WordPress here. Um, doing some manual enumeration, we also do have a user as Clem. Just to confirm that this is running, um, that Clem is a valid user, I'm just going to go to wplogin.php. We enter the user as claim, enter pass. And you see the pass, uh, the password answer for the user and claim is incorrect, right? So you do know that claim is valid on this WordPress site, right? Going back, um, another way to enumerate is going to the recent post. I'm just going to go to the post for hello world. And this is by claim. We have one comment, which is by a WordPress commentator, right? So I'm going to be running another go buster against WordPress here. So I'm just going to do WordPress. Um, here we do have WP content, uh, log, WP login.php, readme.html, WP admin, which is the login, redirects to a login page. Um, since we do know this is running WordPress, I'm going to start by running WP scan. So I'm going to I'm gonna go under my documents, PWP scan. We're going to run Ruby, WP scan.py, or .ruby. Here we're going to do minus u to enumerate for users. So we do know that the... Um, IP address is HTTP 10.0.0.10 under slash WordPress. We press enter. And you do see that, that I did enumerate the username as a user as a login as Klim, a name as Klim, right? Another thing I'm going to do is start by using like rocky.txe against the user Klim. So we're going to start by brute forcing. So here I'm just going to change the um, this has user share word list. We'll go to rocky.txe and the username was Klim. Also need to need to change the, the URL, which is HTTP 10.0.0.10 on WordPress. We can press enter on this. And we can just list, we can just start, uh, let this brute force, right? So looking at this, I'm going to start by visiting WP content. Under WB content, there's usually um, directories as plugins and also another directory as uploads under here. So where the content is uploaded from WordPress. So I'm going to go to 2021.07. And we do have image.jpg, right? So it does seem like there's stego in here. So I'm just going to split this. I'll do mkdir for images. CD into images. I'm just going to duplicate this onto my machine. I'm going to be using stegseek for this. Um, we're going to specify image.jpg and we're, we're going to be using rocky.txe, right? So we're going to use we're going to be using user share for this rocky.txe. And it does seem like I did find a password as this, right? It did help put this to a image.jpg.out. So I'm just going to copy this. We're going to cat this out and see if you can find any passwords under here, right? Okay, so here it just seemed like we do have a log a parameter as log, which is Klim, and also a password as this, right? So I'm just gonna copy this and see if we can like go to Cyberchef. Um, I'm just gonna go to Cyberchef, go to URL decode. So URL decode, type this in here. Then not copy it. Copy this, put this in Cyberchef. And you do see that we have a log as Klim, which is basically the username and a password as all the way up to this, right? The parameter means this is another parameter. So this is the, 
This means that this is just the password, right? So I'm going to take off view source, go to WordPress, and we did have uh, WP login.php. So we have user as claim and also a like password as this. And we do get long successful, right? Doing this, we can go to plugins. So I'm going to go to add new. We're going to go to upload a plugin. And here it is asking us for a zip format. So let me just zoom out. So I'm CD back. I'm going to go to my documents. We're going to go to malicious WordPress plugin. I'm going to go to Python 3. Run Python 3 with the word pond.py. Here I'm going to be specifying my API address as 10 127001 on AA8. I'll specify no so we can so we don't specify a handler, right? Because we're going to be using netcat to start up our listener. So now that is done, so I'm going to go to my documents, go to malicious WordPress plugin, go to malicious.zip, edit the web work underscore maybe.php. I'm a cat from slash ops shells, go to WordPress, and we'll go to shell.php. So I'm gonna copy this, go into here, take that off, press enter on that. You can save this. Update the file, we'll go to browse, we'll go to documents, malicious WordPress plugin, malicious.zip. Go to install now, activate the plugin. We'll go to plugin editor. You do see that we have a new plugin as Gotham, right? So I'm gonna go to select and there's our PHP, right? So here, I'm just gonna copy this. Let's go under WordPress. I believe this is under WP content. We do have uh, plugins and this is under malicious work underscore maybe dot PHP, right? So I'm just gonna copy this, go question mark CMD is equal to ID. You do see that we are dub 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 data, right? So anytime I have to do a code execution, I like saying this within burp. I'm gonna close this, go to next, start burp. Go to proxy, go to options, specify this as my specific address, go to intercept, press enter on this, send this into repeater, and we are dub 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 data, right? So now I'm gonna start by spawning a reverse shell in here on Box. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go to payload all the things. Payload all the things. We'll go to rev shell. I'm gonna control F and do Python. So I'm just gonna copy this, send this within burp. Put this as a parameter. We'll do Python 3, which in my IP address is 10.0.0.0.6.9. We'll do 4444. I'm just going to highlight this to control you to your on code this. Now we do need to set up our listener. So we'll do all wrap and I can my sound VP on 4444. So we can send this and now we do get a connect and we are dub 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 data, right? So I'm going to export my term is equal to X term. I'm going to start by spawning a TTY shell. So I'm just going to copy this. We're going to be running a bin slash bash. Do Python 3. We do ID and we are dub 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 data, right? So I'm going to go to CD into my home. We do Alice my SLA. We'll go to Klim. And it does seem like we do have a executable OS tool. So I'm just going to run tool. I'm also going to run a sudo minus cell, see what we can run. And it does seem like we run home Klim tool, right? Before switching, before running Klim as tool, or before running tool as Klim, I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna go under search bar, dub dub dub, HTML. We go into WordPress and see if we can like do a password be use on wpconfig.php, right? So I'm gonna cat this out, grep minus I for pass, and also do the same thing for user, right? But you did have a user or a pass as this, so I'm gonna switch users to Klim. And it doesn't seem like that is the password, right? So I just want to double check before doing anything else. So I'm gonna do sudo minus cell. We do have user, we do have home claim tool, and we can run this as claim right. So I don't know what this tool is doing, so I'm gonna transfer this to my own machine and uh, use with GDB, right? So I'm gonna go to http.server and port 8081. So I'm going to CD back, we'll go into 
web cater as binary. So I'm going to get HTTP 10.0.0.10. We do have this on port 8081. I believe this is on port 8081. And we do have a our program as tool, right? So I'll do chmod plus x as tool. We'll run tool and we do get a segmentation file, right? Which should be the same on here, right? So I'm sort of my listener. Send this again. I'm just going to spawn a TTY shell again. If you run tool, we should get a segmentation follow and which is which we do, right? So it is basically the same program that we do have on here. I'm gonna run a follow against tool. This uh, does seem like this is a executable for 64 bit. I'm start by uh, doing, running this within GDB. So I'm gonna do GDB, uh, run this with tool. I'm just gonna run this. Um, we'll click start. We'll just quit this out. We'll do run, we'll run tool. We'll do start. Look at this. Um, you do see that this is running a shell for the environmental variable it has been such bash and it's running a user bin cat, right? Um, but the thing that you do see here that it's running a slash user bin, this is running like a, if this was just running cat command, then basically I can do like a path manipulation. But since it's not, it's using user bit cat. That means that this program is just running the cat command, right? So let's test this out, right? So I'm going to touch like a, so I'm going to echo out like, we'll just echo out like, hello. Um, I'll just put this to like a file.txe on here. Doesn't seem to work since we're our dub 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 data, right? Or since we, yeah, since we are dub 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 data. So I'm going to go for, I'm going to see it too far, dub 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 HTML. So I'm going to echo um, hello, like a string into file.txe, right? I'm going to do sudo my install. So we do have a um, home clim tool. So I'm going to do sudo minus u. We'll run this as clim. And I'm just, right now, since it is catting out, um, since it is using cat, I'm going to see if the cat command does work on here, right? So I'm going to var www html. We did create a file as file.txe. And you just see that it does cat hello out, right? So instead of doing that, since we can actually cat out files from Klim, I'm gonna to go to home slash Klim slash dot ssh and we'll cat the ID underscore say dot pub, right? Or we'll cat the private key. Let's first start by making sure there's a public key on here, which there is. We'll check out for the private key. And just seem like there's a private key on here, right? So I'm going to vi into id underscore r same. Put this in here. We'll write quit. We'll do chmod 700 for id underscore say We'll ssh into clim at 10.0.0.10. We'll do my site for id underscore rsa. And we do get long hustle as clim, right? So we can do we can do id. And now we are under clim, right? Doing some manual information. I'm going to go under slash opt. We'll do ls minus la. We'll cat the id underscore rsa dot pub. It does seem like this is the private key or the public key for root at Klim. Um, so I don't know if this is generated by SSH keygen or this is generated by OpenSSL, right? And the way we can check that is do SSH slash keygen. We'll do minus L. I will do minus F. And we can specify the ID in card state out pub. And it does seem like this is generated by OpenSSL, right? The reason I say that is because it does have the 2048. And Open OpenSSL does let you specify 2048 as an option, right? So I'm going to open SSL with a search by exploit DB. And let's see what we have here, right? So it does seem like this is running in Python 2. Uh, you can specify Python 2, which is the keys, which is this file right here. So let me just download this file. I'm, I'm just going to use wget. So let me just quit all this. So I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna mkdir into keys. We'll cd into keys. I'm just gonna w get this file in here. So 
So we do have a file. I'm going to tar minus XVF and we'll extract that out. Another thing that we do have is, so it's time to specify the keys, the IP address, the user, port 22 for SSH. I'm guessing five is for the speed, I believe. So I'm just going to go to view raw data, wget this. So I'm going to wget this. I'm going to move 57 to exploit.py. We'll do chmod plus x for exploit.py. We'll do python2 for exploit.py. Uh, so first we can start by specifying, let's actually get the pwd for our keys. So we'll go into RSA 2048. Yeah, we do have our keys in here. So I'm just going to do pwd. Copy that. So we'll do Python 2 for exploit.py. We'll specify our, where our keys are for the public keys. Um, our IP address, root. So we do, we'll do 10.0.0.10. .0 .0 .10. Our IP address, we do have root, port 22, and 5 for the speed. So we do have IP address, root 22. IP address, root for the user, root 22, and the speed for 5. So we can press enter on this. And we can just let this run, right? All right, so it does seem like it did find a key found and file of this file right here. Um, it is telling us to execute this command here. So I'm just going to copy this, press enter on this. And this we do ID, and now we are in a root. We can cat our root.txe. Well, guys, uh, that's pretty much in the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.